Hi loves, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you here. For those of you that are new, welcome to my channel. I am Tula. Okay loves, so you're wondering, when is the next love gonna come into your life? Are they gonna be the love of your life? Or is it gonna be something temporary? Are they gonna be tall? Are they gonna be short? Will they have their money in order? Are they gonna be successful? Do they want kids? I mean, you know, so. Here are four piles that I have put together for the collective, calling upon spirit to give the most strongest, significant messages regarding this person that's coming into your life. So I want you to pause the video. If you haven't been drawn to a pile yet, please pause the video, take a deep, relaxing breath and see which pile you're drawn to. All right, let's get started. Oh, loves. Okay, so look at this. So someone sexy is coming into your life. And I say sexy because Leos tend to be very sexy. Um, it doesn't have to be the physical feature. There's something about their aura, the way they carry themselves. So you're saying, what, Leo? Absolutely. Let me tell you. Look at this right here. So two different cards from two different decks showing significantly a Leo sign. So this person... Leos are very magnetic. They're very grand. They like to be in the spotlight and they know how to hold a conversation. They know how to engage um, the people around them. They are so fiercely protective of their person they're with, number one, their children, their family, and friends. They have a nice circle around them. Very big heart. Very big heart. Charismatic. Um, they do like the finer things in life. And so far, this is what your person is all about. Very charismatic, um, naturally draws the attention of those around them. So when you're with this person, just prepare to be in the spotlight. And because loyals, loyals, Leos are so loyal, they will, uh, put you in the spotlight. Normally the light is on them, but when they're really into somebody, they shine a light on them. So just expect this kind of finesse, this kind of character. Some of the downfalls uh, of your person, this person coming into your life, they tend to be very sensitive, insecure. Some of them may be moody, but as long as there's clear, effective communication, um, it'll be really beautiful. So what I'm seeing here in a spread is you know this person your person has been so reserved of even expressing their feelings to you. So it could be because they were in a connection. And like I said, when Leos are in a connection, they are very loyal. It could quite possibly be that you were also in the connection and they had to respect that. Um, your person is very well accomplished. I'm going to say that right now, really well accomplished. And I do see that you're going to be meeting this person in the next couple of weeks. I do see that you will enjoy dating. And I do see that this is going to go into something really significant here. So this person, he wants to come into your life on purpose, with intent, but under the right circumstances. This person will show you off. I do see a lot of happiness with the sun. It's like, you know, the sun, when the sun shines, there's nothing in shade. It's beautiful. So everything will be open clear uh they do have a desire for you a strong passion for you and i do this see you know i'm stuttering my words what's up i think they may actually have you stuttering your words out of excitement like what i didn't know i had no idea something like that um for some of you they're your colleague too but yes they're going to love being with you you're going to love being with them i see this as a beautiful beautiful happy connection Okay, loves, for those of you that chose this pile, ooh, your person, oh my gosh, this is an amazing person. Okay, um, kind of like me. <laughs> so what I mean by me is I am a water sign all the way. So it shows that this person is going to be a water sign. Sun, moon, rising. I'm strongly picking up sun, moon, very small percentage of rising sign. So water signs, what are they? They are Pisces. They are Cancer and they are Scorpio. They are very similar, but they are also very different. And I think we all know that Pisces tend to be wishy-washy, soft, dreamy, things like that. Scorpios are known for being a little more uh, rough around the edges, very uh, strong intuition, very deep. 
But I'll tell you, all of these signs have these characteristics. And this is what your person's going to have. First of all, it says a time for healing. This person has a very nurturing nature. There's something very soothing about them. It could be their voice. It could be just their energy. They are a healer of some kind. So they could be in a therapeutic field. Um, what is that, that uh, image I'm getting? Uh, physical therapy. It could be an herbalist. Um, with the metaphysics, something with the herbs and healing, natural healing. So definitely a healer here. They have very strong intuition. They are very intense with the emotions. So just be careful. Your person will get moody. But as long as, you, you know, you make it clear, like you understand that something's going on and ask if they're all right. And they may just say, oh, I just need some space or I'm just going through something. I'll, I'll let you know later. You know, respect those boundaries. Your person is very sensitive, not only to their needs, but to your needs. They will be very sensitive to your needs. This person also has like um, a personality where they will sacrifice for the ones they love. But don't think they're just wishy-washy either. They are very adventurous. They love the arts. And believe it or not, your person will be very keen on observing you. Very observant. I mean, you wouldn't even know they picked up on your different shade of nail polish, like a, a different shade of beige. That's how observant this person's going to be. They are also down to earth. I am seeing here that they, that for some of you, they will be a single parent. So they do have a lot of responsibilities and they are very independent. They're also very straightforward, but don't think that they're boring in their routines sometimes. And you'll come across this. They are a bit unpredictable <laughs> but that adds to the adventure of this connection so i do see here there's passion this person's going to have a lot of passion and they're kind of going to go out of their realm they're they're going to think quote unquote out of the box to try something they haven't done to express their interest in you because they really i mean after it might be even after the first conversation you will spark something i think even looking at each other you know when you see someone from across the room and, and that uh, passion ignites. Absolutely. I do see that you will be meeting this person somewhere outdoorsy. I am picking up on warm weather. And when they meet you, they're going to realize you were the one that they were waiting for, like soulmate energy. So this, uh, this is you, Pile 2. Prepare for something amazing coming your way. Okay, loves, for those of you that chose pile three, you know, let me show you this. Two different decks. I asked Spirit to give me the strongest messages. You're dealing with an Aquarius. It says, show the world the real you. This is a person you've known before. They're longing for you. Um, could be a past love. More than likely it is. I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. This is a past love. Um, it could have been short term or a long-term relationship, but um, they're ready to show you who they are. They have been yearning for you, and this person is not, how do I say, not too emotional. They just have this weird underlying fear that they didn't want to end up depending on someone, and that includes the, um, the emotional aspect. And, and I think because of that very aspect, the connection just wasn't going well. And I think Collective... You let them go because here they are defeated. They're feeling defeated right now. This is a current, current feeling for whenever you come across this um, reading. They are secretly longing for you. But this also shows here um, someone you've known before. They give that homey feeling. You give them that homey feeling. So your person and you already know how they are. But this is what I'm seeing. You were the one believe it or not, that they got emotionally close to. And it may have been a delayed reaction. Your person, I'm seeing here, very sensitive to crit criticism. Uh, I don't think they took too kindly to anything that was received as criticism. They are very, very good at communicating. I feel that the, the conversations over, always flowed. I don't see many misunderstandings. I just feel it was at that time when you were together, the emotion wasn't being expressed as much or maybe they didn't know how to to recognize what they were feeling just those guards being put up 
Uh, your person uh, is also very comfortable with their routine. They, I don't see them very comfortable with any changes that are that come about. Um, also, and I hate to say this, sometimes they do hold on to grudges, and it could be years that they have grudges, and they won't forget. What people love about them, and I think you do as well, their wittiness. They have something with their mind. They are so sharp, so witty. Some of the things that flew out of their mind, you'd be like, where did you come up with? Your person has a very strong sense of independence. Very strong sense. Um, for some reason, there could be some abandonment issues, something maybe with their childhood, something, but they have a strong sense of independence where they feel they can do um, everything on their own and not rely on somebody. But there you were. There you were, love. You creeped into his soul, into his heart, and he realizes just the depth he or she realizes just the depth of how much they truly love you so this person's coming back and they're coming back with fire with passion they want to sweep you off your feet and they will and the oracle card says fall in love when you are ready not when you're lonely this is what this person has done i don't even see that they dated anybody since you or had anyone serious they Friends may have said, listen, you got to get out of this rut, whatnot. But no, they're holding out for you. They're longing for you and they are coming back for you. Okay, loves, for those of you that pick this pile, the person that's coming into your life. Let me show you this. Two different decks. The commonality here. Jupiter is associated with Pisces and Sagittarius. And this oracle, look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. So this person that's coming into your life is a Sagittarius. Strongly sun sign, could be moon. Um, I'm not really seeing too much rising sign. So the person that's coming into your life, um, I see that they're at a distance. They're going to be at a distance. This person is very wealthy. Um, I do see that you're going to meet them some... Mm, the end of August, excuse me, some of you August since I said that, but the end of October, maybe into like next early February, somewhere there, um, this person will swoop you in because they have a very, very beautiful personality. I mean, they have a very sunny, cheerful disposition, very masculine energy, even if it's a woman, very strong, will be... Uh, perceived as very strong and it's not a negative because you're going to be very attracted to that this person does have a lot of education behind them um into religion or metaphysics but they believe in a higher spirit uh, very spontaneous this person is very spontaneous um but there's an issue here this person cannot let go of an old love. So you're going to meet them at their time at a time where they're trying to leave that person, but they're going to be going back and forth and they will communicate this with you. They will express that they're trying to leave the situation. Some of them maybe still be living together, but like residing in separate bedrooms or, or, um, looking to divorce or they're dating, but, uh, and you're going to be very understanding because they're just going to be so open with you that they're not happy with that person. They want change, but they're going back and forth. They're still stuck on why it did not work out. Really still stuck on why it did not work out. So there's going to come a point which is going to be significant where you're going to realize you're both on separate pages is that they're not going to be expressing that love. They're not able to give what you want and you want something with this person so i don't see that this is going to really manifest into a relationship you're looking for i do see disappointment here and i do see that it's temporary may not want to be what you hear i may not want to be what you hear but um the oracle message start reclaiming who you truly are this is for your person they need to they need to let go of this they need to come to a decision have that peace, heal, learn themselves again if they need to, because they're, I see they're dealing with a karmic relationship, but they're just they're not seeing that. They're in a fog still. 
and they need to claim who they are. So the person coming into your life, yeah, look out for this and just know what to expect. Doesn't mean it can't be worked out in the future after, but for the duration that you will be with this person, at least the first phase or the first and last, it's, it's just separate pages. Different pages, different journeys, different destinies.